What is that on my, f what is that on my face? Oh, it is my face. Why does it look so weird? <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, what is up? What is up? Okay, so today I've got something to show you in regards to uh, strapping gear onto the back of your bike. Now, I've had a set of these straps before, but my daughter, she would take them, attach them to her climbing frame thing in the garden there, and use it as like a sort of, like she should make this hammock for a toy a dolls and stuff. It was like, okay, whatever. But now they've gone missing. I don't know where they are. So I bought another set. This isn't a sponsored thing. I paid for these with my own money, but I just want to show you them in action. If you're considering uh, going on a trip and you want some ideas about what to, what to use to strap stuff onto the back of your bike. And these are universal. They'll fit on pretty much any bike and they are fantastic and I've used them for years. So let's have a look at them and then get them on the bike and we're gonna fill up a big 120 litre bag. It's the biggest bag that I have. We're gonna fill up with gear and then we're gonna strap it to the bike just to see how secure these things are. Right, let's do it. Okay, so here they are. We have um, rock straps, adjustable rock straps, most importantly. Now the traditional strap, let me quickly show you. Now these are, these are your traditional bungee hook straps. Everyone's got some of these. And another thing I use is the good old cargo net. These are great, I love these, very versatile. But today we're gonna to talk about the rock straps. Uh, the ultimate adjustable stretch strap, up to 60 inches in uh, length. So that covers a lot of ground in terms of what you can fit on the back of your bike. But um, there's a quick look at the back there. And if you wanna pause that and have a little read of it at your own leisure, and then do so. All right, so a rock strap essentially comes in two parts. You have the elasticated part here, which has the hoop in the middle, that is connected to the other part via this buckle. And this is the bit that um, you sort of pull to sort of hunk of everything down. So let's attach it to the bike and see it in action. Now you can pretty much attach these rock straps anywhere. You can attach it to your grab rail. They will fit in between the slots on your uh, rack. You can attach them to your frame. You can attach them to the foot pegs. You get the idea, but for the sake of this video, we're going to attach them to the grab rail. So we just run it through and then run it through the loop, give it a good yank, make sure it's nice and tight on there. And that is that bit done. Then on the other side, same again, get your loop, run your buckle through the loop, pull it to it's nice and tight. And that's it. Now, depending on how, how long the thing it is you're carrying, I mean, you might just have a bag that just sits on the back seat, but for me, my bag goes the entire length from the passenger seat all the way to the end of this rack. So we're gonna attach another cable here. So again, just run your loop through, run your buckle through the loop, hunker it down, and that's it. You're good to go. And then same again on the other side, with the other half of the strap. Pull it through. Make sure it's nice and tight. That's it. Right, let's fill up the bag. All right, so this is the bag I'm gonna use. It's my 120 litre Snug Pack Monster 120. It's an absolute beast. Look at the size of it. So I've got a couple of bags here. Um, they vary from this kind of smaller North Face kind of day bag right up to this monster here. So these straps will cater for everything pretty much. So let's get this filled up. All right, I'm gonna chuck a three man tent in there. We're gonna chuck a mattress. And we're gonna chuck a ground sheet. Plenty more room, what else can we chuck in there? My table. Uh, water bottle, we can chuck in another mattress in here as well, and that is good to go. There's actually loads more room in there, just but just for the sake of this video, this is what we'll use. There you go. Yep. Oh. All right, now, as you can see, let me show you. Like I said, it goes from the start of the passenger passenger seat all the way. Where's the rack end? The rack end's there. And there's the end of the bag. 
So it's an absolute monster. So all you do is you grab one end, grab the other, and just clip it into place. And then you just pull, and you can really go hard on these. They take a hell of a, an amount of um, pulling. So you can see how much that's squished that in by. I wouldn't have anything too fragile in here and go, go with that sort of pressure, but you can go even further. You can go right down on it. And you know what? Look at that. I'm moving the bike, just one strap. That's just one strap. So let's get the other side on. So we grab one side, clip it in, and then just yank it down, pull it, and you're good to go. That is not going anywhere. And the only thing you've got to remember is, obviously the smaller the bag, the more loose stuff you're going to have at the end. So what I do with these is, I just sort of double them over and then just tuck it through the elastic part like that. So that's nice and tight. So you don't, obviously you don't want anything flapping around near your wheel, obviously your chain, you know, all that sort of common sense stuff. Same again with this side. I just sort of double it over and again. Now just lift that up and I'll tuck it right in there and that's it. That's not going anywhere. And that's it, you're good to go. All right, you know what? Let's really test it. Let's really, really test it. Let's fill up another bag and put that on top of that one. Let's really test it. All right, so to undo it, just loosen up all your slack and then just lift it up a touch just to take that spigginess out, unclip it, then you're done. Right, so I've got another dry bag here. I think this one is probably about 90 litres or something like that. I'm going to just fill it up. I've got old trousers in there, old jeans, all sorts of rubbish. Let's just chuck everything in there. All right. So what we've got now, so we've got 100 and, sorry, 90 litres. I oh, know it says it on the side of the bag, look. 60 litres, so we've got a 60 litre bag and 120 uh, 180 litres in total, so let's get this one on the back as well. Whoa, yeah. Now, I mean, come on. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. But for the sake of this test, let's see if the rock straps can actually hold it down. Let's have a look. So that this is how much free play I have to work with. So 60 inches in total. So you just... Bring it right up. Oh God, I've got loads of room. Loads of room. Easy, it's easy. Anchor that down. All right, that's that one done. I'm grab this side. And it's quick as well, that's what I like about it. You can be quite rough with it and, you know, just get it over a nice secure area. Oh, pull it as hard as you like. That's it. Look at that. It's on there. 180 litres. I mean, I wouldn't recommend putting that much on the back of your bike, but I've done it before. I had that and a, a five man tent on top of it, a similar sort of layout to this, and the bike handled it perfectly. But yeah, there you go. And again, to loosen off, you just pull that, then unclip it. There's no kind of springing back and whacking you in the eye. It's all very secure and safe. All right. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are the rock straps. I love them. I wouldn't be with it. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so they... <laughs> all right, so there you go, guys. Those are the rock straps in action. I hope you like them. A very, very good option for hunkering down large amounts and even small amounts of um, gear on the back of your bike. That's it. Take care. I'll see you all soon. See you later. <laughs>